You can use Fiesta to wipe baby face, cause Fiesta is soft as baby bottom. So, Fiesta kitchen towel, also Fiesta kitty towel. <laughs> I'm stuck. Of all the addled brain... I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Nincompoops! I'm without taste. <laughs> What's the ugliest thing you ever saw? <clears throat> this separation's killing me! <gasps> what the hell is that? <laughs> Final destination tonight on four is the Olympic golf course at San Francisco for the last rounds in the 1987 U.S. Open. Channel Four presents live from the Olympic Club in San Francisco, California, the final round of the 1987 United States Open Golf Championship. Roger Twibel, and we welcome you to our final round coverage of this prestigious event. Some three to four hours from now, the final twosome of the day will be making their way up the fairway here at 18, that being Tom Watson and Keith Clearwater. The weather here in San Francisco on this Sunday morning is bright sunshine right now, but earlier today, a lot of fog, some drizzle, and very cold climates. We're looking forward to a fabulous final round, and if history dictates itself, we should be back on Monday. I'd like to introduce right now, also working with me, is Ben Wright. And Ben, there have been two previous United States Opens here at the Olympic Club. Yes, indeed, um, Roger. Two historic playoffs, of course, in which the outsiders won on each occasion. And it would be a brave man who would bet against a playoff for tomorrow over 18 holes because 20 players are bunched within four shots of the lead. Jack Nicholas said some prophetic words, maybe on Wednesday when he said that it might be a plodder who would win this championship. There are a lot of plodders in there amongst the leading groups. To mention just a couple, Scott Simpson, Lenny Clements, John Mahaffey, all guys who grind away quietly and get the job done. Larry Mize is another who goes about his business very quietly.